Hello everybody, welcome to another week with us. We, today, this week, I want to talk about the power of truth. The power of truth. The power of truth. Now, we all know about truth and we hear about truth and we talk about truth all the time. But you see, not all of us have actually taken time to think deeply enough about the power of truth. Truth is so powerful. It's much more powerful than we could imagine. Like, let's just examine one of the phrases of Jesus, what he says about the truth. He says that if you, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Now, can you imagine just knowing the truth? The truth doesn't have to have weapons. The truth doesn't have to have guns. The truth doesn't have to come with knife. Truth doesn't have to come with, with you know, armory to defend itself. And does, it does, for truth to set somebody free, you doesn't need to come with a tank or with some uh, armament, uh, uh, you know, to fight his way and to prove his, uh, his, uh, his, his position. No, truth is as, you know, as uh, it looks so helpless and truth looks so, you know, so, uh, so, so weak. But in its weakness, it is the most powerful weapon that anybody could ever think about. He says, you shall know the truth. And that truth that you know will set you free from whatsoever you might be suffering from. It will set you free from your enemies. It will set you free from your adversaries. It will set you free from your complexes. It will set you free from your even sicknesses and diseases. Truth, when you get to know it, not just knowing it in your head, but when you get to make it a part of your life, when you get to, you know, not just know it on the surface, but when you take your time to dig deep into the truth and to study the truth and to inculcate the truth into yourself, it will set you free from sickness, it will set you free from uh, addiction and dependency, it will set, totally like break you and set you free and make you overcome whatsoever situation you might find yourself in. Truth is such powerful. So no matter what you're going through and no matter what pressure is coming to you and that you are under right now, be faithful to the truth because the truth will always win. God bless you. Talk tomorrow. Hello, everybody. We continue to talk about the truth today. Uh, you see, we spoke yesterday about what Jesus said about the truth, that if you know the truth, if you make the truth a part of your life, that the truth will set you free. And I said, you know, the truth doesn't have weapons and tanks and armory to go and fight for itself. But the truth does not really need to fight for itself. The truth has something that fights for it and that always justifies it. The, the, the greatest weapon of the truth is time. The t truth always uh, survives the test of time. Actually, the truth is the only thing that stands the test of time. You know, no matter how much lie uh, reigns and no matter how long lies and deception you know, seem to be overcoming and ruling in a situation or in your life or around you or in a country or a nation, no matter how powerful the people who are supporting lies and deception, you know, truth as helpless as it looks and truth as subtle as it looks will always come up on top no matter what. So truth is something that is worth living for and truth is something that is worth dying for because even if you die uh, establishing or standing on the path of the truth and if you die you know proclaiming the truth you know what that truth will later uh, vindicate you because even if the truth is killed seemingly and is cut into pieces and it's cut into thousands of pieces and buried and is totally removed from the face of you in humanity you know what one way or the other the truth has the way of resurrecting itself and even the thousand pieces that you cut it into will begin each one of them to cry out and scream out to the, to the, to the rest of the world that I am the truth, this is the truth. So no, even if you die for the truth, that truth will find a way of resurrecting itself, proclaiming itself, and justifying you who live for the truth. So it's worth living for the truth, it's worth dying for the truth, it's worth standing for the truth. God bless. Hello everybody. Today we continue to talk about the truth 
and the power of the truth. You see, uh, it is worth it, and it is is uh, is is worth everything to live for the truth, and the truth deserves it. It is the, you know the truth is worth it. The truth is worth it. The truth is worth suffering for. The truth is worth living for. The truth is worth uh, enduring for enduring because um, you know the truth is a is a wonderful rewarder. The truth knows how to reward people who are faithful to it. Uh, a lot of people are living in worry and uh, anxiety today. The reason why they are in anxiety and worry is because they have done something wrong somewhere. They have not abided by the truth. They have not abided by the principles of the truth. So they are now worried and they are troubled and they are concerned that maybe somebody will get to know about their deceptive way of life, because about their deception, about their lies, and uh, a husband that has deceived the husband, the wife, by cheating on her, is worried, cannot live in peace because he's not, he's didn't abide by this principle of the truth. Uh, somebody that has stolen the money of the government or the country or the co corporation or company is is a is, is a miserable person because he cannot live in peace. He cannot live in uh, you know. In in in, in uh, with himself because he is is worried, is troubled, is is uh, in is excited, is in living anxiety. Why? Because it's not he has violated the truth. Truth is something that you cannot violate. When you violate the truth, you regret it. So uh, when somebody uh, lives in truth and abides by the truth, you don't live a life of regret. Truth rewards you with peace. Truth rewards you with protection. Truth rewards you with peace of mind. Truth rewards you with security and protection when you abide by the truth. It is a wonderful power. It's a wonderful force that keeps you and that justifies you and that vindicates you come what may. Let's choose to live by the truth, my friend. It will vindicate, it will be secure, and it will uplift you. Hello everybody, we continue to talk about the power of the truth this week. Uh, the truth has enormous power. And one of the powers of the truth is that the truth actually is the foundation for a viable and solid character. You know, the character of anybody, a person or a nation, actually depends on the truth that is revealed or exposed to them, or the truth that they are exposed to. The reason why, uh, you know, some in some countries, people marry three, four, five wives is because of the truth they refuse to accept and the truth they refuse to live by. Because the Bible says, for example, that uh, God created man and uh, and woman, and you know he, he created a man for a woman, a woman for a man. So if that is the truth that we abide by, we are saved from a lot of uh, troubles that come to a polygamous family. But if you don't want to abide by that truth, you reap a lot of sorrows, a lot of problems coming from the polygamous experience that you are having. Just the same thing like if you see a man that beats a woman or that lifts his hand against women in general, his wife, it's because he's not living by the truth that uh, women are the, are the, uh, you know, are the princes princesses of God are the daughters of God Almighty. If you see your wife as a princess, uh, as the daughter of God, you will treat her as a princess. So uh, it depends on the truth. If whatever we do is actually dictated by the truth that we know or we don't know. Or, I mean, by knowing, I mean the truth that we have you know, worked on to become a part of our lives. If you see somebody that is well behaved, that is, uh, you know, that uh, knows how to respect the elderly people and that honors elders, uh, that's also a particular truth that is revealed to that person. And the other person that does not respect anybody, even elderly people, is because he has refused to work on himself for that truth to become a uh, part of his life. The Bible says to honor our fathers and mothers and that uh, will have long life on the earth. So the truth that you have actually dictates your behavior. So the way we behave depends, is a result of the truth that we have taken time to work on, on ourselves with. If we've worked on ourselves uh, using some certain truth of the Bible, it will show in our behaviors. So how we behave is a reflection of the truth that we have permitted 
to be a part and parcel of our lives. So truth is the basis of character. We behave according to the truth that we live by. God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. We continue to talk today about the power of the truth. I remember yeah, there is a scripture in Psalms uh, 112, I think, two to, two to third, I mean, it's from verses 2 to 3. And it talks about the, the works of God. It says the works of His works are established forever because they are based on the truth. They were, they were established by truth, or it was, they were done in truth. You know, the works of the Lord are established forever for one reason. The only reason why the heaven, so it's not, it's not caving in on us, it's not collapsing. The reason why it's sun, the sun and it's not stopping to work or a moon is not dropping on our head on earth. And the reason why the earth is not uh, caving in under is because the things that God did are done and established on the basis of the truth. The reason why they are established, why they are standing, why they, are, they stand for eternity. Everything God does, they last for eternity because they are built on the truth, because they are based on the truth, because they, were, they came out of the truth, they were done in truth. That means that should tell us something. Tells us that at any time that we want something to, we want to build anything, anything that we want to do should be done on the basis of the truth. The, the truth is so powerful that if we build it on the truth, whatsoever we are building, it will last and out, outlast us. It will la last through times and seasons. It will last through um, attacks and uh, you know, earthquakes, earthquakes, and it will last all kind of winds and storms of life. Truth is the only thing that makes things to last. So, so great lives are built on the truth. Great destinies, great nations are built only on the truth. Nothing is built on deception that will last. Anything that is built on lies, deception, corruption will not survive the test of time. Houses that are built on, the, on, on lies and deception, they collapse. Bridges collapse that are built on lies and deception. Lives collapse that are not built on the truth. Only what is built on the truth survive and last the test of time. So let's build our lives and our relationships on truth. God bless. Hello everybody, we continue to talk about the truth today and the power of the truth. You see, the truth is so powerful that it's unfortunate that so many people uh, are ashamed to stand for the truth in their daily lives and especially in the society, especially when it comes to the public opinion because the, the society we live in these days has so much uh, opposing to the standards of the truth that most of the time a lot of people are ashamed of truth and they are ashamed of proclaiming the truth in public and they are ashamed of uh, standing for the truth when it's not popular but you see that's a mistake because the truth is so powerful that you know it's worth standing for the truth is worth fighting for the truth is worth dying for the truth is worth losing anything for because eventually the truth knows how to reward and the truth knows how to know how to how to vindicate in, 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 in you know sooner or later so in the long run the truth will vindicate you and and the, the only reason why the society is not being changed to the better is because many people who have the truth compromise the truth because many people who possess the truth are are silent uh, most of the time about the truth but you see the truth if it's, if it's kept hidden or if one is not talking about it or if one is compromising the truth the truth is incapacitated the truth cannot help you because then if you compromise the truth it means evil reigns at that time the reason why Jesus calls his disciples and all of us the light of the world is because we are supposed to defeat darkness and the only way a believer could defeat the darkness of their society is by the power of the truth only through the truth we could be the light of the world and only by the truth we could be the salt of the earth so we are called the salt of the earth to bring uh, to bring meaning to life and to bring uh, you no know, taste to life to the life of people around us and the only way we could do that is by standing for the truth defending the truth proclaiming the truth and, and and establishing the truth no matter what that will cost us eventually the truth will never let us down 
people, even people who refuse to, 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 to agree with us or who are arguing with us, they know in their heart that we speak the truth and the truth will eventually vindicate you. God bless. Hello everybody, today is the last day that we're talking about the truth. And you see, I want to encourage you to stand for the truth, be faithful to the truth. You see, faithfulness to the truth is so vital to our life. When you are faithful to the truth, you remain, uh, you remain your own person. You, you remain uh, integral with, within yourself. You, 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 you are not divided among, in, in within yourself. You, become, you remain a person of value. You remain a person of quality. And, and, and uh, the truth will justify you eventually. You see, there is no regret in living for the truth. Uh, many people compromise the truth, but they never, nobody ever hears about them. But the only people you hear about, the people you hear about that books are written about them, films are made about them, are people who risked something for the truth, people who sacrificed something for the truth. Don't you ever be afraid of living and being faithful to the truth. Because when you are faithful to the truth, the truth will elevate you. The truth will be faithful to you. The truth will stand by you. The truth will lift you up. The truth will, 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 will defend you any time, any day. The truth will glorify you. The truth will give you more than you could bargain for. Truth is always beneficial. It's always beneficial to live for the truth. So let's submit ourselves to the truth and let's make up our minds that we would rather give us our lives rather than compromise the truth. We would rather die than, you know, than sell the truth. Hold on to the truth and you will see that the truth will give you much more than you could bargain for. Not just in this world, but in the world to, in the world to come. The truth will give, put a crown of, of diamond of, upon your head and the God of truth will be there to receive you in heaven, even if you die for the truth. He says that if anybody will be ashamed of me here on the earth, he said he will be ashamed of that person in heaven. But if you be faithful to him, who is the truth here on earth, he will be faithful to you when you get there in heaven and in any situation here on the earth. Let's remain faithful to the truth. God bless you.